Hello everybody, it's Lucas Macintosh here and I'm back with some more Perfect Dark for the Nintendo 64. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos, I really appreciate it. If you are indeed enjoying my content and would like to see more, why not hit that subscribe button because what that means for you lovely people is you will be instantly subscribed to my channel and notified every time I upload a new video and I've got new content coming each and every single week. Right, this next level is going to be very, very confusing and difficult but I'm, I think I'm up to the challenge. Uh, there are a few points to this mission I have to take out a load of guards then I have to navigate this floating crate full of explosives to a wall that's been marked by another agent I need to blow up the wall obtain a disguise and then infiltrate the Nevada labs even more so here we go I will show you now this is area 51 rescue agent mode yeah obtain and use lab technician disguise gain access to the autopsy lab I've no idea where that is and rescue the crash survivor so three objectives but they don't tell you sort of about the floating crate which I think is just one of the most tedious and annoying things ever it's kind of like the crystal maze I don't know where you have to like blow a blow this thing for a maze or or use like instruments to get it that's how it feels to me anyway and the damn crate's so sensitive as well anyway <laughs> I, will, I will get into that after this cutscene and you will see exactly what I mean I'll see you in a bit guys The problem you have is that there is no way to sneak into the research section. The only way in available to you is a weak section of wall like marked in the room beyond the stores. It can be destroyed with explosives. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. Where are these explosives? In that crate. Cute. Very cute. By the way, the stores are crawling with guards. It may go against your nature, but try sneaking through rather than blasting everything. Certainly. Any other pearls of wisdom? That crate. Yes. It really doesn't like being shut. Right, now if I can just fight the urge to report him to base security. Okay, so cue this level's gimmick in that I have to push that crate and it becomes so annoying later on but first things first I'm just going to try and take out all the guards in this area and then I'm going to move the crate because as Jonathan said that crate does not like being shot so there's no point in me taking it through an area that's full of guards because I'll just fail the mission because inevitably the crate will end up getting shot strangely enough there are quite a few guards here to take out so I have to be so careful they just stop here and it's like, where were they before, you know what I mean? I need to get out of here. And I'm going to wait for them to come to me and try and blast them. Hope you guys are alright anyway. Thank you so much for deciding to spend your time with me. Really appreciate it. Alright, where are these guards? Around the corner. I love the fact that they're more strategic than the ones in GoldenEye and that they will actually wait for you to react. Okay, any more? I think one of them has dropped a shield, so that's quite useful. Either that or it was just there. We've got a lift. Now essentially, we we have to take the crate up a lift. Up a couple of lifts, actually. And you will see what I mean when I get to use it. It's like trying to play football with a freaking crate. It's very awkward and tedious. There you go. Whoa. There you go. One instance where the auto aim actually come in useful. I think they've actually improved it on this game compared to Goldeneye. It was a little bit hit or miss on that game. Oh, I'm sure there's like a few more guards that appear here. So I'm just checking everywhere. Some of them are hiding in this storeroom. Where the hell? And see, from a distance, that little box looks like a friggin' guard. Oh, hello. There you go, see that? Told you. Alright, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
pop up this lift. I'm going to take out the guards everywhere before I take the crate with me. Again, I don't want to risk blowing up that crate. So we're going up. Right. I'll be careful. Aha! Oh, he's dead. I shot him earlier. That's good. There's a guard over there. Nice. I think most of these doors are locked as well, so that's useful. So it gives you kind of a linear path on agent mode anyway, so although it is tough, it's not as tough as the other difficulties. I'm really looking forward to kind of completing it on agent mode and getting those other difficulties done. You know, sort of challenging myself as a gamer. Again, this is one game I never really gave much time to when I was younger. Shit, here we go. Don't know if I got him there, but got him. There you go. Did any guards make it to the left though? Yes they did. Move out of the way. Alright, are they gonna come for me or are they gonna wait? Okay. Got ya. So you do it. But it's not over yet though. Come on, open the door. Is this door gonna open? This is the another lift, so we basically have to take the crate up two flights. To a wall that Jonathan's marked. It's very annoying. But this lift isn't coming down now, so I don't know what's what's happening. Sometimes I think it gets stuck. Ah, it's coming down now. Or it gets kind of confused. I my only guess is that some guards are calling it up there. That's why things happening. Because I can't seem to access it. Is it coming down? I'm pressing B. Oh, it's coming down now. See, look, I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it, and then I think they're pressing it as well at the same time. Ah, see that? I knew it. There's a freaking guard in there. He was pressing it, so he was trying to stop me from getting up, so thank God for that. That can be very annoying if you don't know that 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 can't get the words out. That's happening, I suppose. Right, move. And I haven't got much ammunition left in my silencer, so I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Right, so this is the wall that Jonathan's marked. I want to see if I can grenade it actually. Let's see if a grenade will get me through. Save me a lot of time. Yes! I don't need the crate. How cool is that? I blew through the wall myself. Oh my god, that's awesome. Right, I'm giving Rare a huge thumbs up. Lab closed. Right, here we go. Put my gun away. I need to find the um right, why does she keep getting the gun out when I don't want her to? That door's locked. I need to find the area. I need to find the alien. Well, there's nothing in here. Right, okay. I'm going the wrong way, I think. I need to figure this out, this is weird. Aha! Yeah, the I found it. I think we're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna do it. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. And you? So you got here at last. Yes. Everyone's been waiting for you. Oh, good. Where do I go?
made into the lab. Shit. Here we go. That's not Harry, it's an intruder. Best line ever. Shit. There we go. God, I can't see what's going on here. Like I'm blind. They give me some sort of um, sedative. Objective 2 complete. What do I do now? What in God's name am I supposed to do in here? Wow, he's moving pretty fast. Oh, what do I do then? What in God's name am I supposed to do? You've asked me to come in here, but there's no point. There's nothing in here. I can't see anything anyway. Right, what does it say I have to do? Rescue the crash survivor. Well, I don't know where he is. So how am I supposed to find him? I don't get it. nothing in there let me just all right have I been there guys I'm so confused now I don't know what's going on I don't get it where am I supposed to go again this game gets very cryptic it's like oh you just go this way I'm actually in the lab so where's the crash survivor Picked up some sedatives. I don't quite understand why it would bring me in here. There's nowhere that I can go. I guess I've got to go back then because there's nothing this way. My god. This is ridiculous. Come on, stop pissing around, man. Why does my gun always need reloading when I'm in the middle of a firefight? It always seems to be so inconvenient. But like I'll go to fire, it's like my gun needs more bullets. Ridiculous. Right, where do I go now? So, is there really any point to sending me in that room? Because that's stupid. It seems a bit pointless, to be honest. Right, what's in here? This has got to be somewhere different. This is it. I think this is it. Now the auto aim stopped working. Again, they really need to fix this because it's such a problem. Well, they should have fixed this. Sometimes it just doesn't work at all. And you can see that I was way up close to them as well. Make sure there's no one following me. Do you know, I'm hoping that this game doesn't have infinite spawning guards. I think there's like a set amount of guards on here, which I think is much better. Right, it's got to be this way. This has got to be it now. Can't break glass. You can't get through. The only way through is this way, I have to take care of the guys and then the door's locked. Shit, and I can't break the glass. How do I get through? Ah! Jesus Christ. This sucks. I haven't got much time. I've done it. There you go. Put hands up and step away from the alien. Don't make me tell you again, Doctor. And turn that laser off. Alright, so there you go, guys. Wasn't as difficult as I thought. Basically, um, 
that crate turned out to be like you can use it to blow up the wall but it's utterly pointless so I've no idea why Rare put it in the game at all to be honest if all you can do is just use a grenade at the wall but it does kind of um, show that Rare are kind of giving you options so if I had a choice between using that crate like pushing it up and using the grenade obviously I'm going to choose the grenade but to be honest I really enjoyed that that's the first time in a while I've actually enjoyed doing a really difficult level so that's done now I believe in the next mission I've got to escape with the e let me get let me start again <coughs> I believe in the next video I have to escape with the alien and uh, try and get out of area 51 all that's left to say is thank you very much this has been Lucas McIntosh thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro let's play videos I really appreciate it if you are indeed enjoying my content and like to see more why not hit that subscribe button because that way you'll be instantly subscribed to my channel and notified every time I upload a new video and I've got new content coming each and every single week thank you so much it's been such a pleasure doing this video for you don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Dodgers Game for all the latest happenings on my channel and I'll see you next time for some more Perfect Dark for the Nintendo 64. Take care.